Hello everyone and welcome back to another Space Engine video. So it's been quite a long time since I last did one of these. I think the last time I did it was when the um, HD textures um, came out where I did um, check out all the planets with that. But yeah, today we have got something that I have uh, been looking forward to for quite a long time now and that is custom space engine system so story behind this is people um said um way 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 back now that it was possible um but no one ever actually got round to send me one in but finally someone has so we're gonna be checking it out as sort of like a demo video for today just to make sure it all works and all that good stuff um so yeah should be quite an interesting one and yeah we'll get straight into it actually no before we start actually guys massive thank you as always for watching the videos subscribing and all that good stuff is a huge thanks to you all make sure to join my discord server as well link in the description you can also find it on my chat like the front of my channel on pc now um there should be a link to it there so go ahead and do that if you want to send me systems to check out and stuff with universe sandbox or space engine now since um we can do it in space engine so yeah pretty cool stuff but yeah that all out the way let's get started so all the credit for this um goes towards goomba we've not seen anything from him in a while but yeah goomba fan he sent this in so all credit goes to him for um making all of this stuff but yeah let's go to it so his system or uh, is called the jazz star i believe it's called or G-Star, yeah, G-Star, I'm going to search it, there we go, okay, so it's this object here, so, right, let's just go to it and see what he has prepared here, so, hopefully, here we go, so it's got one object with life, right, here we are, so this is all what he designed and implemented in the game, it's actually quite simple to do it, as well, if anyone wants an explanation on how to do it, then um, I probably could do a video on showing you how to do it, but once you um, read how to do it, it's actually very, very easy, all you have to do is create some extra folders in the um, game files, and then that's it. But yeah, anyways, here is it. So here is the star. And yes, yeah, um, good to be back with Space Engine. It has been a long time since we've been able to check um, this stuff out. I mean, just look how cool it looks, but let's go ahead and zoom out. But yeah, just check it out. It is, it's definitely good to be back. I mean, the graphics in this will always beat Universe Sandbox 2. I mean, this is on lowest graphic settings as well, guys. Just saying, because if I record any higher, the um, the recording lags. So, yeah, I have to use the lowest settings, unfortunately. But, yeah, we want it to work rather than not at all, right? It's also got some sunspots on it, which is quite cool as well. But, yeah, there we go. So, there's only two systems in here, because, like I said, it's sort of like a demo to see if this all works. But, yeah, here we are. So, the first object is here. So let's go ahead and see what it's got here. So I believe there's moons as well. So let's see um, see what we got. Oh, okay. So I'm assuming this is the one with life. And that is looking very, very interesting. I've not seen any object look like this in Space Engine before. So this is the multicellular. Okay, so this is the one with life right here. And it is looking very awesome. So um, yeah, here it is. So yeah, temperate, um, arid, earth and life. Organic, multicellular, terrestrial. Okay, so distance. It's actually um, quite large in size. Um, with um, I think this is uh, the... A diameter not radius as we oh no 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 never mind that is um diameter is 6200 okay so that i believe that's the circumference the distance one at the top there i think so don't um quote me on that if i'm wrong then let me know um but yeah so it's um we're doing it in miles this time around so yeah 6200 miles right there um there we go so um it's also got two moons greenhouse effect atmosphere pressure is quite similar to earth Okay, so similar, so it's very similar to Earth, obviously, because that's what it's designed to be. But one thing we can't do in Universe Sandbox with, that we can do in Space Engine is we can actually go down onto the uh, under the clouds and actually look at what's underneath. Because obviously, this is Space Engine. We can actually do this sort of stuff. It has the sky. Remember, Space Engine has skies and all of that good stuff as well. So, yeah, check it out. This is looking really awesome. There's also a... Is that a volcano there? Oh, wow. So, yeah, whenever with Space Engine, you can add custom mountains and volcanoes and stuff. So, there it is there. Very, very bright here, so we may have to turn down the... Uh, no, not zoom out. We want to turn this down, the exposure. So let's um, go ahead and see what um, it's got here. So we're traveling very, very fast right now. But yeah, here it is. So I I think that's a volcano, actually. Let's just... Uh, yeah, that's definitely a volcano there. But yeah, check that out. So that is pretty cool. So he's added a volcano in there. Look at the clouds as well. I'd say the clouds look very nice um, on this object as well. Just check it. It looks really cool. So the exposure is supposed to be like this normally, but yeah, we've had to uh, dim it down a bit just so we can see everything that's going on here. But it looks like it's mostly an ocean world with lots of volcanoes um, around by the looks of it. If we just pause it here, then um, yeah, here we go. And also, if you're wondering why I've got Universe Sandbox music that in the background, that's because the Space Engine stuff, I believe, is copyrighted. So I actually can't use that. So I have to use um, the regular Universe Sandbox, which um, works. So um, yeah, there we go. But yeah, mostly um, ocean well. But as we can see at this, um, I think that is the south. So the south area here. There's actually some land with some slightly different um, areas. So it looks mostly flat. But I'm sure if we zoom in all the way down here, 
Okay, we are on the surface. I don't know if the textures or anything will load up because um, we are on the lower settings, unfortunately. I don't even know if they would on high settings anyway, just because um, of the way it is. Um, because these are custom built, so I'm guessing they probably won't have custom surfaces and all of that, because that would probably take ages to program if it's even possible. Honestly, I have no idea if you can get the surface detail, but yeah, honestly, compared to Universe Sandbox, there's way more detail we can look at on the surface anyway here. I mean, yeah, this area looks a little more... I want to say it's a little more detailed if we wait for it to load a bit. But yeah, there we go. So you can see here, we've got... If we go down... Is this the ocean? Is this... Are we underneath water right now? I can't really tell. No, that's just the clouds. Never mind. The cl These are... Okay, now that... That's a cool view. Yeah, that... Well, that's looking good. Let's get a picture of that. I think that looks... Very, very fine right there. I mean, check that out. Yeah, I thought... I thought the... Um, orange clouds were water i generally thought that looked like water for a second but no 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 this is like a canyon when these are clouds wow we that is now that looks really cool check that out we've got some higher clouds some lower cloud layers here looking very very nice i have to say for that so um yeah there we go there so yeah that is that planet see there's so much time you can just spend on each object just exploring and looking around but yeah look at it, it very very nice can we look at is like any info on this thing can we Oh, okay, so it's all set into this as well. So, obviously, if you want to have a read-up, there's all of the um, bonus stuff as well. So, yeah, all, all of these custom objects have got all these um, settings on it as well. I'm guessing the info doesn't work, yeah? Maybe you could add info. If that if you could, that would be awesome. Maybe, maybe you can. I'm not sure. So, there we go. Let's put the exposure back up. Right, so now heading to the moons. Okay, so there is a moon around here somewhere. So, um, if we just uh, go here. Okay, so... Okay, there's two moons um, by the looks of it. So here's the planet. So the first moon is here. So let's um, head to it. Right, here we go. So here's the first moon. So it's actually an asteroid moon, as we can see here. Let's go ahead and uh, lower the exposure so we can see a little easier again. So here we go. Let's travel at 7,000 miles per hour and check this out. So here we go. So yeah, this is the one thing I want to see in Universe Sandbox is asteroids that actually look like asteroids like this. I mean, just look at it. Oh, it's so good. So yeah, here we go here. Right, so we can actually go right on the surface here. It looks like there's a little more detail on the floor of this one compared to the planet itself. So there's a slightly more markings and stuff. But remember, we are on the lowest settings after all. So they, they probably would look better if I turn them up. But like I said, unfortunately, it's not going to be possible. Yeah, sadly, it just won't work. So um, yeah, there we go. But let's um, continue around that. So yeah, that's mainly the asteroid. I'll see pretty basic stuff. It's an asteroid. And I'll see there's a lot of craters and stuff. So I guess we can go ahead and uh, explore one of them. Actually, so let's go ahead and... Uh, Try and find one to um, look in. So let's go for this one right here. So here we go. Let's just uh, slow it down. But yeah, we are inside a crater right now, which is really, really awesome stuff. Yeah, there we go. So that is the first moon here. So an asteroid-shaped moon. So yeah, there we go. But now there is a... Okay, so is that another planet or is that a moon? I think this is a... Yeah, it is a moon. Okay, so all the way over here. Is it the moon? Okay, so where are we? Oh, yes, yeah, so it's a lot further out than the planet is. Okay, that's why I didn't spoil it. So, yeah, here it is. So, this is Jemun. Right. So, where, where's it gone? Let's zoom out again. Where, where are we? Okay, there we go. So, here it is here. So, it's a more spherical shaped moon this time around. Let's uh, lower it again just so we can see. Um, but, yeah, here it is here. So, um, yeah, sort of orange sort of colored moon as we can see. But it could be made orange by the color of the star as well. But, yeah, there we go there. So, yeah, just a very, very cratered looking moon um, by the looks of it. In orbit of that um, ocean volcanic water world um right there but here we go so this one's got more craters it reminds me a lot of mercury this one actually so here it is here so it's temperatures at 63 degrees um right there but yeah as we can see there's way bigger craters on this one um as we descend to the surface now so yeah here we go but yeah check it out oh it's so cool oh, so yeah i have missed space engine doing videos on it it is so cool i mean you could just spend hours looking at um, stuff that people made. But now people can actually send in stuff for this. We can do space engine systems alongside universe sandbox systems um, to look at. So this is really cool. Maybe I could try making one of these myself. Actually, that'd be really... Like making, maybe making some sort of theme, like maybe like the color theme sort of systems, but do it in space engine. I mean, how cool would that be? If I could try and get that to work um, in a video, I have to learn how to do it. Um, but maybe it'd be possible to insert my own objects in. I'm not entirely sure how it works, but you know, maybe I could um, try that at some point. But yeah, here we go. So yeah, really awesome with all the craters here. And just look how good this looks. So yeah, all custom created um, by Goomba. So yeah, there we go. So there is that one. Right, awesome stuff. So that is the first planet um, set of objects done. So how do we get back to the menu? It's, is it not? No, never mind. Yeah, I'm still a little, uh, a little unfamiliar with Space Engine at the moment. Okay, so the second object now. 
Right, so this one's a lot larger as we can see Teknar here. It's 13,000 miles in um, diameter here. So here it is here. So way bigger. So there we go. Okay, so it was, yeah, 13,000, where is it? In diameter. Okay, so halfway it'd be about 7,000 um, in radius there. But yeah, here we go. So check this one out. Okay, a lot more interesting. There's definitely some oceans by the looks of it. I believe this is water, but here, I think, is this water? It's quite hard to see. Mm, it's quite hard to see indeed. If we were, uh, if we turn it up again, is that is there an ocean under there? That looks like a ocean or like a giant lake. I'm sure that is a lake, but the water is a different colour. So um, obviously it's not blue, so we've got hard to spot. It's also got some volcanoes, as we can see. If we look around the back of the object here, you can see there is some uh, pretty interesting looking glows here. But also if we zoom in, look how hot and fiery it is. So yeah, as you can see, volcano which is looking pretty cool. It's a flat-based volcano as well, not a mountainous volcano, and that is a very cool red sky right now there. But yes, yeah, a very flat volcano, as we can see, not a uh, normal mountain type, because, yeah, there is different types of volcanoes. They don't always have to be a mountain. Um, but, yeah, there we go. But, yeah, there's, de there's definitely some oceans there, by the looks of it. If we try and get closer to one, or a lake, sorry, but it's just, I mean, that, that has to be one, surely. Is that... Let's see if we can uh, try and land uh, near the water. Yeah, that's definitely some sort of... I'm assuming it's water, but... Yeah, there we go, so... Oh, the surface... Look at the surface on this one as well. Quite, um... Definitely a lot more detailed looking, I believe. But yeah, there we go. So, yeah, there we are. Looking very fine indeed. That may not be water, actually. It may just be a, some area on the surface, actually. I'm not entirely sure. What is the information set about this? So, it's a arid earth. Right, there we go. So it's a decent temperature there, but yeah, I'm pretty sure this isn't a Hattable look at our Hattable world. Um, but yeah, there it is there. Honestly, a really cool design with it, the orange. The, it's obviously got the clouds as well, looking very cool. That really does look like lakes and rivers, but yeah, when you zoom in, it um, um, that is definitely not an ocean. It is definitely just sand, as you can see here. But yeah, look at the detail and all that. It just looks so cool. Honestly, if we zoom in, oh wow, this one's really detailed. Look at this. So if we just uh, head over here into this area... Yeah, check it out. That is looking really awesome. Yeah, look at all that. So a very rocky world, as we can see. So like a desert sort of rocky world is what I'm getting from this. It's got a blue sky, though. Um, but yeah, there we go. Looking very cool indeed. So obviously some of it hasn't loaded. Other bits have. So this is um, roughly what it would probably look like for most of um, the areas on the object. Because, yeah, it's all the same color. It's all mostly desert, after all. So, um, yeah, there we go. And obviously some volcanoes as well. Let's uh, check one out in the daytime here. So here it is. More of those um, areas as well. Definitely a sand looking area, but obviously if you zoom in, it will look different. But let's see if we can uh, find that volcano. So, where, where is it? Okay, there it is. So, yeah, as you can see, it's not obviously a tall mountain-like one, but there is a way you can do that um, to make it, as we saw on the other object here. But yeah, here's the uh, volcano again. So, yeah, looking good. And then, uh, can we just go into the... So, we're now we're literally in the magma lake or lava lake, however you want to call it here. So, yeah, there we go. View of the start as well. So, yeah, really, really cool stuff indeed. Very, very nice design. So, yeah, there we go. Right. Um, and is there any moons with this one? I Okay, that one had moons. Okay, so this one... Yeah, this one doesn't have moons. Okay, so that does it for um, today's video. So, yeah, just a demo system of... Um, space engine or custom space engine systems and it seems um it's a success uh, space engine systems do work and the thing is as well this was designed in the free version of space engine so it's good at it's like multi um multi versions in a way because yeah i'm using the steam version right now the one you have to get on steam um so it's good at the free version systems can transfer over to the um, paid version here so that is good stuff um and yeah really really cool indeed so yeah massive thank you to goomba for sending um, this um, system in again as well. Really, really awesome stuff. And yeah, very simple to um, add systems in. So all you have to do is create a folder. So now I've got that done. All I can do is just add objects in um, whenever I want and it should work. So um, yeah, there we are. So there is the um, the star and then he has put um, some planets around it, which is really, really awesome. So we, also, we can get the lineup up here of um, all of these objects. And that is really cool. So um, yeah, there we go. So yeah, guys, let us know what you think of this down below with custom space engine systems. Really, really cool stuff. Now, I've been waiting to do this for so long, so it's finally good. It's, someone has actually done it. Very simple to do. And yeah, I look forward to seeing more from you guys. Um, so I know a few people um, have plans for it. So um, yeah, really, really awesome. And yeah, massive thank you guys for, for watching today's video. Let's see if we can go for 40 likes on for these custom space engine systems. Really, really awesome stuff. Um, and yeah, that is everything, guys. So make sure to join my Discord server, link in the description. And yeah, make sure you have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.